So I'm Josh with Series Greenhouse Solutions. We're currently in Central Michigan, and we're looking at one of our newest greenhouses that we're about to turn on. It's a 30 foot by 100 foot high yield greenhouse kit. This kit is slightly different than normal. The 70 feet behind me from west to east is a 30 foot deep greenhouse kit. The final 30 feet is actually a 23 foot greenhouse kit. And we've combined them into one greenhouse because he had an existing steel building that we've incorporated into the design of the greenhouse. This greenhouse has three inch thick insulated metal panels. That's an R24 insulation value. We're using 16 millimeter triple wall polycarbonate on the south wall and, um, south wall and south facing roof. Um, north roof is insulated as well as north wall, east wall, and west wall. This is a vented greenhouse. So on the east side, they have three 36 inch exhaust fans, two 24 inch exhaust fans. This greenhouse also has a very cool and newly designed GAT system. That's our ground to air heat transfer system. I'm actually standing on top of some of the piping. This system is entirely outside of the greenhouse. So the intake and the exhaust are in the greenhouse, but the underground piping lives around the perimeter of the greenhouse. So it's exclusively designed for cooling. Um, so on a day like today, those fans would be on, taking in hot air from the greenhouse, blowing them out here where heat can dissipate easier than underneath the greenhouse. And then cooler, slightly drier air will flow back into the greenhouse. In the winter, when the sun's shining, that will be their exclusive cooling system, which allows this to be a sealed greenhouse. Um, we're going to go inside and have a look. This greenhouse does not yet have power. They're waiting for the power company. Once that happens, light deprivation will be installed and they will be ready to grow. All right, so here we are inside the high yield greenhouse kit. As you can see, the framing is two by four light gauge steel. This one is spaced at four foot one inch on center. Um, insulated north wall, insulated west wall, which you can't see, insulated east wall, polycarbonate south wall, south roof. Um, this one's built into the hillside a bit. So we have a six foot knee wall holding back the earth and then we shorten the north wall to fit that. It's slightly cu customizable in that regard. You can also see the bump here where we bring the greenhouse in seven feet and transition from a 30 foot standard high yield kit to a 23 foot standard high yield kit. Um, what you will also see is gap fans. There are two there, two behind me, and two around you. Um, there's also six exhaust fans. So this is where I was saying outside, I was standing on the buried gap system. This is the inside of the gap system. These fans intake hot air, usually around between 100 and 110 degrees. It flows out to the systems, comes back in, comes out of the exhausts at usually somewhere between 55 and 72 degrees, depending on where we are in the season. As we said, this greenhouse is fully vented. And once the controller is installed, the the fans will be smartly staged, so they'll come on one at a time. They're variable speed fans, so we can actually turn them up or down as needed. So maybe we only need one fan on at 30%, maybe we need one fan on at 100%, and fan two on at 50%. Our controllers can dictate that based on temperature and humidity. Vapor, vapor pressure deficit is a big thing for us. And even in a vented greenhouse, which we might call lower tech cooling, we can still control VPD fairly well with the right controller and with the right fan layout. All right, so just a quick GAT talk here. GAT is G-A-H-T, it stands for Ground to Air Heat Transfer System. As I said, we have high intake fans here as well too. Um, when I say they take in 100, 110 degree air, that obviously depends on how you're cooling your greenhouse, but we try and get them above plant canopy where it might be 100 degrees, we never let it get that hot, obviously, around the plants. So they might be taking in 80, 90 degree air, um, depending on how you're dictating temperature in your greenhouse. One of these systems will take in air. It's a, this is probably a 5,000 CFM fan. Um, ideally, these are three phase, 480 volt. Um, it's highly efficient way to cool, maybe the most efficient way that there is. 
Um, these go out the north wall of the greenhouse where there's an entire system buried underground. That warm air runs through cool soil. Um, the cool soil pulls some of the heat out of the air. Um, if the soil is cool enough, we create a phase change. We're actually taking humidity in the air. It's water as vapor. Um, it is condensing underground as it cools rapidly. That is a phase change. A chemical reaction occurs, turns into liquid water. It actually drains out of the system and also heat is released. Um, when that air comes back into the system, comes back and exhausts out of these. Um, we put 45s on these that swivel. The goal here is that we're gonna create airflow. We don't wanna hit the plants too hard. There's a lot of air coming out of this. So these are adjustable. And we might even go up a little higher and 90 them so that we're cooling the top of the canopy. Um, but once we turn on a GAT system, we learn more and more about it as it operates. And we will adjust fine tune as needed once we get plants in here and have the whole system running. We expect that this GAT system will probably cool this greenhouse 10 to 15 degrees on its own because it's an external GAT system. When we're growing lettuce and vegetables, we oftentimes bury the system inside the greenhouse, under the footprint of the greenhouse. It actually allows us to heat in the winter and cool in the summer. With the cannabis houses, we can't heat to 70, 75 degrees in the winter. So we put the systems outside and it's strictly cooling, but it cools better than the inside systems.